Hello, my name is Charles the Marketing Maverick Davis. I want to welcome you to my channel, Serial Design FX, the ultimate brand design channel. This video is going to be an analysis and breakdown of the Donald Trump presidential campaign. And we can learn a lot from seeing how they played out. One of the things that I wanted to watch as that strategy played out was what were they standing against. They went straight at the pain point of the American public. When he did that, and he jumped out there in front because in the business world, we are taught to be first. He jumped straight out there and said, this is the problem, the borders and the economy, and this has to be fixed. You're in office. Why didn't you do it? And I said, uh-oh, he cut them off at the knees then. They couldn't come and say, well, you're right, because then they would have to admit that they were wrong. And they are. They are. Here it is. They have ignored protocols that go back decades. If you look back at Ellis Island, when they let immigrants come in here, there was a protocol in place. They threw it out the window. The protocol for coming into America in the beginning was you had to be tested for diseases such as smallpox. If you look at the history of America, when they came here from Europe, they bought smallpox and it decimated the American Indian. America, the government, totally ignored these protocols to protect the American public. Next. Now that we have the pain point, what is the solution? See, he went right at the solution. He gave a plan. They both going to have to, whoever had a one was going to have to have a plan. But what did they really stand against? One side was about women's right to abortion. What a lot of people don't realize is that the Democratic National Convention, Chicago, my hometown, I learned that they actually had a trailer outside the convention performing abortions. Think about that. Think about what is their agenda? What is their motive for doing that? And here's something else that I thought was really suspicious. I have no evidence of this, but it was like, wait a minute, the timing of this is too perfect. Epstein, P. Diddy, all of a sudden that dropped out the news. And then all of a sudden, the Democratic National Convention starts parading celebrities on the stage and if you look at some of the guests at pdd parties they were on that stage let me tell you something you better understand what this deep state is really can do i'm gonna give you a real life example early in my life i was a mailman at the post office before I went back to college. I left and went back to college and a few years later, I started seeing some of the mailmen in downtown Chicago, they were working different jobs. And I went to talk and he said, what happened? Apparently, one of the mailmen's cousins came and was hanging out with the mailman. He had a relationship with the guy. 
and then he disappeared. And then he came back. No one knew that he had been arrested by the feds. And now he became a government informant. And therefore, they were sending him back to everywhere he was, where he was known, and got to tell the feds who's involved in the drug trade. A bunch of people at that post office lost their job. I mean, just for the simple fact of if you were looking for some marijuana, oh yeah, you go talk to so-and-so. That person wasn't even involved in drugs. Just because he knew who it was, they fired them too. I mean, it was people with 10 or 20 years in the postal service lost everything. So that list that the government has, those people are going to be informants. That's what they're going to be. They're going to they're going to use them. That's the way they work. But I digress. What you're about to see in the upcoming transition, it is going to be a business move. They're going to rebrand America because Mer people say America stands for this, and that's not the image of America we want. All this stuff with the woke and all this stuff, we're starting to identify with that, and people are tired of it being pushed down their throat. I'm going to end it with this. Realize that the male population has been oppressed due to the laws and relationships with marriages, and we have been oppressed through the legal system. We've had to tolerate things that we didn't want to tolerate, such as abortions. Realize the abortion rate of 1,600 to 2,500 people per day is killing off the generation that was perpetuate the American dream. The last time I saw this type of topic was with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter, and they said that this, these abortions had consequences with the women. They were committing suicide. They were having depression. So now the, the slippery slope that started decades ago has now come back to haunt America, and they have to stop that decline. The next thing you have to understand, and I'm going to give you a little preview. I'm going to cover this in another video. Is the role that Elon Musk played. I'm going to make a video about that. Because that man is going to be very instrumental in what America will become. My name is Charles the Marketing Maverick Davis. If you need to rebrand or reposition your company or your personal brand, I'm available. You can follow me in this video or you can contact me directly from my contact information in the description.